What is going on guys, so I'm going to show you how to go about turning this material here, oh, this material here, into this material here, just using roughly about 10 different nodes, mainly being desaturation and cheap contrast. So, if I jump into a material instance I made for my one on the right, I can show you what about this is doing. So, I have a node that allows me to change the blacks, one that allows me to change the whites, like how intense the white is, and one that allows me to change desaturation. So, if I start turning up the black, you can see, like if I really go over the top, you can see it really, really makes the blacks come out. So if I put that back to 0 0.6, the desaturation obviously just makes it more grey. If I keep going, it's going to just pretty much make it grey and black. Because you only turn it up to 1 usually to make it completely desaturated. So um, put that back to 0.2. Now if I turn down, I believe, these, the whites will come through more. So as you can see, if I go really over the top, it's just going to make it pure white. So you can focus this and allow it to only sort of bring through some of the whites. Okay. Automatic saving. Okay, so we set that back. Set that back. There you go. And close that. I will open this up now and show you how I did that. So it's this material here. So I open this up. And bring it up here. We'll make this flat. So this is what it's going to look like when you just plug it in. So this can be used for any material you're trying to do. It's just you can edit it to set, um, the way you want when it's set up. So like I'm using wood because I thought it looked really nice in it when I was just messing around. So yeah. So then um, all you need to do first is desaturate it. So if I type in desat, there you go. I can connect that up. Connect that up. There you go. Hold one left click to get your constant. Connect that up. And just, I don't know, I grey it only a slight bit because you're going to con contrast it anyway. You won't see a result until I connect it up. So if you see the difference, it's, it only very slightly greys it out. But that's enough because of how much we're going to contrast it. So next, you need to get your cheap contrast. And I'm going to go normal cheap contrast because if you saw my old video when I showed how to do contrast, I think it was two videos back or one video back, I like using the normal one and not the RGB because it might make a black and white, but it makes the um, black and white sort of contrast rather than the actual color itself. So if we um, connect it up to there and connect a constant up to there, and I don't know, make that um, 0.4, and this is going to be the one that controls the blacks. And if we then have a multiply, and this is why it controls the blacks because when you connect it up to the multiply here, the multiply multiplies both materials to get like both textures you're putting it together and it makes the blacks come out a lot more so if I connect that up you can see the difference so if I start messing around with this you can see the blacks are going to come through a lot more and if I turn it really far up oh very grimy wood very grimy so I kind of like that 0.6 to be honest yeah it looks really nice okay now what you gotta go do so like you can turn your desaturation up even more if you really want if you still think it has too much color do whatever you want with it but this is just sort of showing you how to set it up. Now we want it so you can control the whites. So how I did this was I copied this, my um, albedo. So just control C, control V over here. Then I set it up to a desaturation. And I plug this into here. Oh, plug this into here. I'm really bad at grabbing it when I record. And cheap contrast. And connect that up to here. Then put your constant value into here. Now I don't need to put a constant value into my desaturation because I want it be to become black and white completely. So we can add it up to here, can add it up to there and then all we got to do is, well I need this to be set to about 1. So if we actually, if I actually set up a multiply here just so you can see the results it's doing. There you go, oh god. So if we go into here, it's still just the exact same as this but as soon as I turn this number to about 1, it's going to cut out all of the whites pretty much because what it's doing is it's sort of like it well it's um, contrasting it so it's making the blacks especially because it's set to one it's making the blacks really black and the whites really white and that's exactly what we want because now if I have a add node so hold a and left click to get an add node and we connect you up to here and we connect oh yeah, yeah. and then we bring this down here and we put you into the bottom if we open it up, what it's doing, what an add node does, it only adds basically the positive values. So if you have white, it will only add the whites. Anything black, it won't add to the actual effect. 
So because our results, so we get back up, because our results, we have like it cutting out all the whites. What it's doing is it's just plastering them right on top of it and ignoring all the black value. So put that up. Oh god, put it into base color. And we're done. So it's not that much of a difference. It's just a nice little detail I like. So it goes from that to that. And it just basically makes the um, just the white stick out. And it kind of looks like the wood's been worn away over time, which I sort of like the effect of. And then if we just click apply, come into here. And I think I changed some of the contrast, but that's pretty much the exact same texture. If you want to set up the uh, material instances, visit my old video. All you pretty much do is come into here. Anything you want to be able to change the value of, right click. So it's got to be like your constants. Right click, convert to parameter. So like um, desat, that one, convert white, no, that was the blacks, and convert, and that'd be the whites. And then all you literally do is click apply, go back to my scene, go to the material you've done it to, create material, so right click it, create material instance, and when I jump into this, I can come down here and I can have control over these. Oh, I need to throw it onto the object first. There you go. I have complete control of these. And, I don't know, make it more desaturated and the whites come out more. Oh, too much. Either way, you can mess around with it however you want. Alright, so I hope this helps anyone who wanted to get, like, a sort of a horror esque thing going on because it makes your material look a bit older and a bit more grimy so yeah thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed and bye bye